Many people I spoke to tell me they don't feel safe walking around at night with their dogs, which is why they want to see the city lift these restrictions. And a new online petition is asking the community to get involved. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Some San Diegans are calling on the city to do away with dog walking regulations along the coastline, including PB, Mission Beach, and Mission Bay boardwalks. It's very peaceful out here, as you can see, you know, so but you shouldn't have to wait until after um, it's almost dark before you can walk your dog. Current rules allow leash dogs only after 4 p.m. and before 9 a.m. daily between November 1st and March 31st. From April through October, the later leash dog walking time begins at 6 p.m. Exceptions are made for guide or service dogs. Dog owners I talk to tell me the restrictions force them to schedule their walks on quiet or less traversed spaces, including near busy and sometimes treacherous streets. Down here at night, it's not not always the safest. I totally agree. And especially right now with the roads being torn up, the sidewalks are torn up too. They're doing so much construction. They've got the roads ripped up. Now two locals are trying to get the city to act. Jeffrey Perchin and Nick Safranek are advocating for the city to approve a 24-7 dog-friendly policy. There's no reason at all why People with dogs can walk their dogs. If people don't like dogs, they can walk around the dogs. Safranic believes allowing dogs on the boardwalk can even boost the local economy. You know, like these, these establishments would see higher customer traffic. Both men are now hoping to gather community support. They created this online petition, which already has more than a thousand signatures. I think it'll be a, uh, a long road, but I think this is something that we could, we could definitely do. I reached out to the city of San Diego, which says the current restrictions are in place to protect public health and ensure city shoreline areas are safe and accessible for all. All. The men who want to change the rules say they're ready to put in the work. I'm not afraid. I'm going to do it. Perchin and Safranic must now get the support of a local town council or community group before going to the city's park and recreation department. To learn more or sign the petition, click on the online version of the story at CBS8.com. Rocio de la Fe, CBS8.